here. Americans are eager to travel. But for passengers who have been racking up the points and the perks from those reward credit cards and the flights, loyalty may not be worth what it once was. Can you fly this plane and land it? Surely you can't be serious. I am serious. And don't call me Shirley. Many airlines, including the largest carriers, Delta, American, and United, are now raising the bar for passengers to reach certain elite status levels after relaxing those levels during the pandemic. In a lot of ways, they're trying to make elite status elite again. That status can mean free upgrades, early boarding, lounge access, TSA pre-check, and free tickets. Amy King has found the new changes to American Airlines program so confusing and she says unfair, she's ready to leave. Because there's no crying in baseball. There's no crying in baseball. Uh, if, if I'm going to spend that much money a year and always use your airline. American says it continues to evolve the program, allowing members to earn more rewards more often, even before a member reaches the first level of status. Delta says its changes were a necessary step toward both preserving and improving the customer experience for its most loyal and engaged members. Think the airport lounge, think upgrades to first class. All those types of things work well when there's a small subset of people with elite status, but break down when huge swaths of people uh, are. I've got bigger titties than you do. I've got more chins than a Chinese phone book. I've not seen my willy in two years, which is long enough to declare legally dead. Are able to achieve it. And this spring break, if you're planning to pay with miles, be prepared to fork over even more. From New York City to Miami, about 36,000 miles, rather than the typical 25,000. New York City well, to I'm LA, 56,000 miles. So you're telling me Minneapolis there's a to chance. Cancun, brace yourself, 105,000 miles round trip, rather than the usual 35,000. They look at the bank of miles that are out there and they think, wow, we have a, a huge number. And what do they do? They move the goalpost. If you're not loyal to a specific airline, now could be a good time to consider other options. Look into more general travel rewards credit cards. Those earn points that you can use on a variety of airlines, hotels, rental cars. And the advice, if you're still holding on to vouchers from the pandemic, read all of the fine print and check the expiration dates. Is it when you need to travel by or is it when you need to book your flights by? All right, so Tom, we need some advice. What are some ways that we can prevent our points from expiring or going to waste? So I think the most important thing is to really try to keep track of where you are at any one time. And one good idea is to download a tracking app. And there are a lot of them out there, but these will keep track of your points, of your miles, of your elite status. When you might see something starting to expire, it will hopefully notify you before it expires if you want to take action. The next thing, join a dining rewards program. A lot of hotels and restaurants will also help you earn points towards your status on whatever airline or hotel chain you want. And then use a loyalty shopping portal. It essentially does the same thing, but the whole idea is maximize those credit card purchases so you're building points. Ah, okay, but. Baby back, baby back, baby back, baby back, baby back, ribs. I want my baby back, baby back, baby back, baby back. Here's the big catch. So many people now have so many points, and the airlines have fewer seats on any given flight. Actually flying for free, cashing in those points, maybe a bit of a challenge. You may have to fly during the off season, not spring break, not summer, mm -hmm. to take advantage of those of those free flights, guys. Mm -hmm.